welcome back to Space Haven. I seem to have disabled a pirate ship here, so with uh, the contingency of maybe having to reload, uh, I'm going to go try and see if an assault rifle uh, is better against these guys than the uh, shotguns are. But I have no idea how many crew are aboard that uh, specific vessel. So that will probably play a part. Because there might be very many crew aboard that vessel, and uh, if there are, well, then our people are good to surrender immediately. There we go. We seem to have a nice and tasty hole by back here, so let's uh, shuttle over there. This is working. Pep's just surrendered. Tune fix probably will surrender soon. Two of them have surrendered. Three of them have surrendered. We have John here. Now he has surrendered. And the music changed. You know, I actually think we did it. Yep, I think we did. Let's get the other shuttle over here as well. Yep, it's on its way. I need to draft you, Peps, and you will tell this person to come with you. So, follow me. Miss, you go take Lynn, follow me. Catherine, you can go take Yon, follow me. Tunefix, you can go enter the crew. Oh, no, there is one more. Ranaziel. Okay, so you guys go over there. Tunefix, make Ranaziel follow you. you guys can enter this craft. I need this to be drafted. And you guys can enter this craft. Now, you guys can dock here. So, assault rifles are definitely better, but of course it does help that they didn't have a crew of... Uh, Ten pirates or whatever it was in the last uh, ship that we uh, encountered like this. Good thing that I finished the uh, prisoner area. And this was a pleasant surprise. Could use some another medical bed. 
Is it possible to build one up here? Now that won't work. I don't think this is a very good location for medbeds. Um, they'll probably object vehemently to that. We could remove that toilet. I mean, yeah, we, we'll do that. We'll dismantle this toilet. And build a medical bed down there. The lamp is going to be in the way. Uh, let's dismantle that. Now let's build a medical bed. And I think we can build a lamp here. Yes. This thing needs to be prioritized because we have people who need that bed. Mm. Peps could probably also use a medical bed, but um, I don't know where I should find room for another one. I would guess I could remove that one, but uh, that toilet, but nah. So the space whale, it is unexplored. Um, Sydney, you seem to be in a good state. How about you pop on over there? Here we go. And it's been explored. Good, good, good. There are oodles of things to transfer from this place, so we'll take all of it. Condition bad? No, just stop feeding. I'll probably go, to go get a medical bed when he gets the chance, but uh, at least he's not bleeding. That's uh, that's a good thing. These guys probably aren't happy with us. Feeling comfortable, six. Overall mood, 126. Chance to convert, 1%. Incoming ship from the military alliance. Dr. von Arakel is uh, tending to the prisoners and uh, also Mez. The MAS Vent, Hori Vent Horizon. That's a funky name. Okay, these guys have a few things that I think we would like to, uh, to get. Um... I don't think we need that many shotguns. 
Six should be enough. We can sell a pistol. We can sell these processed foods. And some human uh, meat. Don't really uh, need that. Let's get their water in return. And uh, then we can sell them these. And this is scrap. I don't want to give them any money, because then I'll have to deal with that afterwards. Let's get some energy rods as well. It's not that we need them, but... Oh, there we go again with... Yep, better. And then let's get their last water. I think we can give them some raw chemicals because, crikey, we have a lot of that. What don't we have a lot of, to be honest? It's definitely safe to say that we are doing uh, very well. Far better than expected. Let's just give them some blocks. Hopefully that'll make them happy with us. Let's hail them as well. Their vision. They don't agree to that. And they don't agree to that. I don't know how I can make them happier with me. But I think... Let's see. They were at 16 or 17 or something. Hail them uh, and check when people wake up. Okay, now let's hail them. Yes, twenty seven. Okay, now let's trade with them again and see if it helps if we just give them something. So they need vegetables. I should be careful with giving them too much of that currently, but let's give them two vegetables. And we can give them some tech blocks. And some soft blocks. And a couple of uh, infra blocks. Now that's 923 that we're giving them. Let's see if that helps. What are the two trades we're doing with them now? That's the one that we're giving them stuff. No, we've actually given them stuff now. Uh, let's try hailing them again and see. Yeah, that did help. Now we're at 30. Their vision? No. Okay. Um, that's a useful way to get rid of blocks that I don't really need. Because our internal system is kind of overwhelmed at the moment. I 
I would like to be friendly with the military alliance. This many uh, raw chemicals, but at the same time, I want to be kind of picky with what I give them. I guess we could give them some carbon. Should be done with the transferring. Yes, we are. How are you guys feeling? One percent chance to convert. Yeah, we're going to have to keep them along for a, keep them on board for a long time if we want to convert any of them. But I do like that it's possible to just give them things and that makes them happier with us. Um, it's better than those horribly unbalanced ways of doing it with uh, give them the gifts when we have this much stuff on our ship. Okay, I believe that was the final trade. No, there we go. Let's hail them again. 34. Now oh, they'll probably... Uh, no, actually they won't. So these guys are very uh, restrictive on who is allowed to get on board their ship. But then again, they're the military alliance, so I can understand that. Let's prepare a hyper jump. And uh, move on. That means that there are no derelicts. Um... I, I sorry, I mean no pirates left. This is 109. Uh, which means that we haven't done 170 and we haven't done 171. Let's go down there then. I can go back. I was supposed to mine those, but then the pirates came, so... And that was more interesting. Let's go here. We can drop out here. Now, these guys, we need to find where we have shotguns. Not there. Not there. Here we have shotguns. So these guys draft them and move them all there. Because we don't want to use assault rifles in case there are uh, aliens around. We can just keep this window open because when they come they will... Okay, tune fix. Okay, so Catherine, you can go on board. Miz, you can get uh, yourself a shotgun and go on board. Peps, you can get yourself a shotgun and go on board. And finally, tune fix, you can get yourself a shotgun and also enter the vessel. There we go. And we can dock there. And then we can dock the vessel at the airlock. And no. S silly me. It is a good idea to make them leave the craft first.
this doesn't appear to have an alien infestation, so that's something at least. We have some data logs that we should check out. Yeah, no, there's no aliens here, it would seem. Pretty sure we would have encountered them by now. So, undraft and undraft and transfer, select all, move. Now, let us check out those data logs. Starfarer, entry 5. That's a new one. Light the way back home. I've been so busy I've forgotten to keep my personal journal updated. In fact, come to think of it, I might just call this the final entry. I have too many plates to spin. It's probably a bad idea to add one more. Still, this little story deserves an ending. We made more friends. That's the short version. <laughs> That's oversimplifying it. But how do I even begin to compress all those adventures into one log entry? All the lives we saved, all the scrapes we got into, all the days we barely survived by our fingertips, and those of us who didn't survive at all. We lost Cutter, a stroke. Could have been worse, we nearly lost him to slavery. There's a lot of people in the fleet who wouldn't still have all their bits if Cutter hadn't been there to put them, all to put them back together. Yes, I said fleet. Dozens of us by now. A genuine nomad caravan of Earth's flotsam. We've had to start getting picky about who we let in. Too many crews turned out to be slavers or pirates or cultists. It hurts to look starving people in the eye and turn them away, but I have hundreds of lives to worry about who earned their place in this caravan. Hundreds of mouths to feed and there's never enough to spare on charity. I wish that was different. Maybe one day it will be. I'm going to give this journal to some of those desperate souls. Who knows, maybe word will spread. We can handle pirates and maybe there are folks out there who don't need charity. Maybe there's folks who made it somehow. If that's you, if you can pull your weight and help keep those mouths fed and those ships flying, maybe there's a spot for you in our caravan. After all, home is where the heart is. This is Emily Lopez, captain of the independent Havencraft Starfarer, signing off. Yeah, this one I think we finished in the previous playthrough. Hmm. Guessing these people aren't... It's gonna take a long while before we can even consider recruiting these people. The MAS Vent Horizon, that's the ones we already traded with. Four rows of crew. That sounds like a daunting prospect. Didn't these guys sell meat? They do. Maybe we'll buy some meat from them, now that we have uh, passengers. Guys, done. Yes, you are. Let's prepare a hyper jump then. And jump. So that's planet 170. 
Moving along to asteroid field 173. I think we're gonna land there. And someone needs to mine this. And the rest of you, you get crafted and enter this craft. Lucky you guys. This thing has suffered a massive catastrophe thing. We can dock this at the airlock now. Catastrophical, I think, is the word that I was looking for. But there doesn't appear to be any aliens here either. Go in there. Yeah, there we go. The MFS Wave Runner. Select all and transfer. And of course, no salvaging, because why would we do that? amused by these prisoners. I mean, I understand that they know they are imprisoned, but it shouldn't be that hard for them to do a riot if they wanted to. Again, they're being fed and probably shouldn't be complaining too much. I believe that's everything, so we can prepare for another hyper jump. And here's a claimable vessel. That would be asteroid field 175. tiny ones again. So, so meh. Let's mine the Hyperium and draft our crew members and put them on board a vessel. And we can dock there, I believe. there. Oh, this one has biters. No one here, though. Are you guys going to shoot? No, apparently not. apparently was too afraid of the aliens. He left some evidence of that in his uh, pants. There we go. Now we can undraft them and undraft this and claim the vessel. Is there any working reactor here? No. So dismantle, 
dismantle, dismantle, and dismantle. That'll be nice in terms of tech blocks, which of course you all know we need a great deal of. Then rules, uh, empty, select all firms, empty. And with the layout on this vessel, I wouldn't want to keep it, even if we could. Which I believe we, could, we actually could keep it because we have enough crew, but I'd rather just build another ship. Back and forth, back and forth. It appear that the uh, when the shuttle come here, it fills this thing, the airlock, with oxygen. That's a good thing though, otherwise our crew here would suffocate when there isn't a shuttle nearby. Three percent chance to convert. Okay, so it's going to take a while, yes. not sure what to do with them because I don't think I want to have all four of them. I suppose I can convert all four of them and then convert this prisoner area to a bedroom area. They would have to share bunk beds though. I don't know if they're any good though. Yon definitely isn't. Neurotic? Oh, you're better, Ranazel. How about Lynn? Lynn would be nice to have to the crew, actually. And then... Yon? Yeah. I wouldn't mind adding him either. It was just Yon who is the bad one. Have we transferred everything from that crew? Yes, we have. That means we can prepare a hyper jump again. We'll leave the Xerxes behind. That one is 171, so that's the final one that we haven't done with a derelict. Just uh, set down here. 
It is rather late in the evening, but uh, I'm sorry, you guys, you'll have to work for your uh, meals anyways. Um, let's see here, one, two, three, four, and I don't see an airlock on this one. No, there isn't. Let's dock there. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be any uh, aliens immediately. No, this place looks like it has no aliens. It has been explored, so let's just put everything that we want transferred over to our ship and mine these things. I think that I'll finish this system off camera, that is mining the final systems and uh, all that uh, transferring from this derelict. And in the next episode we should be at the beginning of system number 6. So for now, thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you all in system 6.